I never said I'd be better than nobody. <laughs> I never wanted to be better than nobody. I just always tried to stress. I'm different. I'm not like everybody else. I don't do what other people do. In fact, if you ask me, I'm way, way over. This is where it all start. Davenport Drive. Zion City, Alabama. Small neighborhood. This is where we used to catch the bus at. Right here on this corner. We used to do everything. Roll up paper and shit. Right down the drain. Get crazy. Shit. Wait for the bus. The bus used to pull up right here. We gone. So where it all started at. Poor drive. Granddad used to pay his bags on his way to work. He used to be like, all right, big time. Was, all right, Granddad. I'm going to have to take y'all on a little tour around my neighborhood, man. My old neighborhood. I mean, I grew up. Uh, I grew up here basically all of my life. Like, shit. Childhood. Off and on, all the years combined, this is where I majority grew up for majority of the time. You know, right here. Right here on Davenport Drive. So, you know, basically suburb, but... We everywhere around here, so we was everywhere. So I'm gonna take, you know, I can take y'all on a little tour of my neighborhood. I'm telling my brother I'm gonna build a house right here. I'm still gonna be a shit. Crazy, crazy, crazy ass story about what happened right here. Well, look, long story short, we used to have a friend used to stay right here. Um, we used to come over and play. They had a house right here. It was a pool in their backyard and shit. We used to always um come over and we used to fuck with their pool and stuff and. Um, one day we was out here and they fucking, like, I woke up in the middle of the night. I smell fire. I see lights flashing all out the back window and shit. So we come out here and they entire fucking house is on fire, like up in flames. And I'm just like, damn. So me and my granddad, my brother, all of us, we just standing right there watching like, God damn, but. Long story short, my dad ended up telling me a crazy story, bro. He ended up saying, uh, it was a dope, it was a dope boy who stayed right next to him. I didn't even know. My grandma has the pastors. You know, she stayed right here. Dope boy, you know, and basically, um, my dad was saying, you know, you can't really live in no neighborhood like this and not really have set credentials of what you're doing because these are retired homes and shit, but. Basically, the police got on to him and shit, you know, and he ended up getting busted and going to prison for a long time. But he had bought this house, but his wife burnt up the fucking house for some insurance money. And she got the insurance money. And then, and then they caught her up on fraud and locked her ass up too. Living on the crash course, the fucking garage slash hangout. Um... Garage slash hangout. We used to always be up in here. Um, I don't know. I think my boyfriend put that right there. Um, but this is where we always used to chill at. This was the spot. This is it. Goddamn. I'm talking about all of us used to be crowded in this motherfucker. I know you. I know you can't imagine. I know you can't believe. Yeah, we was in this bitch. Um, just chilling, making music. We threw my eight. They threw my 18th. My 18th birthday party, or 19th, I'm sorry y'all, I can't even remember. They threw my 18th or my 19th birthday party here, and they'll surprise me. I didn't even know they was finna do it, but they turned up so fucking bad in this bitch. Like, shout out to the mod, you feel me? DMT the mod, nigga. Yeah, yeah, but the boys did that shit, bro. But this was the spot, and shit was cool, bro, you feel me? Come on, way upstairs on the other side. We had all this shit down here to make as much noise and shit, man. It was one or two as possible. Ran over still law. I can never feel law. Ain't no need to cry about it. Stuffed in the quarter pound. Straight drop water down. Say it could show sound. I love you, but don't fuck around. Hello. Oh my god. Hello. Hey. Hey, I just got off the phone with my friend. Um, 
Yeah, like sometimes she be always call me when I'm in the middle of doing something as far as like my stuff to that be. Yeah, the best that I can. But yeah, I don't never mind because that's my baby. While it's raining and stuff. Oh, you inside? Yeah. Oh, okay. A documentary on what? Well, documentary on uh, kind of like you know where I grew up, or where I grew up and stuff, and uh. Okay. You know. The origins of a lot of this shit. Oh, okay, this gonna be nice. Yeah. Taking the shortcut. Well, we used to take the shortcut right here. As you see, Grandmama House right here behind us. We take a shortcut down through here. And we used to go here, come through this trail, and go up here into the neighborhood. We used to actually um, play, get our basketball, and just play without permission. Play with these people go. That same go right there. No permission. Play. I was looking here, not really having shit to do, but to act stupid, um, go and explore shit, different things, whatever, like, is it, goddamn, this is what we used to, quote unquote, um, thug it. I haven't done yet, or oh, I haven't, I haven't shot a uh, um, video out here. That's something that I could do. Coming around the whole circle too. It's basically a big, big ass cul-de-sac that lead all, lead around in the circle. And we used to just walk the cul-de-sac and smoke that paper trash bag, or smoke that brown paper bag. <laughs> you know. You want to walk that long ass road too much, so you basically just cut into the valley. You cut between houses and shit, you know. You see, typical neighborhood and shit. People ain't gonna call the police on you if you ain't doing that, you ain't got no business doing this shit. But, I mean, it was, we was like menaces. Like, on some, on some uh, complete uh, mischief shit. <laughs> we was the TV as fuck. So, you know. I'll take but nobody ever called the police. <laughs> I remember my mama telling me, you ain't trying to be funny, <laughs> but you can't say it. She said, you need to get you some auto tools or something. And you know something? I fucked around with it one day. It ain't never been no bad neighborhood. Actually, it's the type of neighborhood where you can post up on the corner <laughs> and do exactly what the fuck up there. A neighborhood to be considered <coughs> a bad neighborhood. <coughs> Feel like <coughs> you gotta make it a bad neighborhood. <coughs> like <coughs> we would have to start doing all of the stupid shit around here. You <coughs> feel to make it like that and shit. Never was. Always a good ass place, peaceful place, place it just hold good memories and shit that I always come back to like I'm not a mentor in there. I'm like I'm more of a realist. Like, how the fuck could I tell you something, you know, that you know? I'm going to have to tell you what I know. I'm a real. Shout out. Shout out, Jay Gua. You feel me? You mean that boy? Got some shit going on. Got shit to collab. But really, I ain't finna walk all over this entire neighborhood. This shit stretch, what, maybe three miles that way? Well, as far as where we used to be, you know, going and shit. Yeah. Over behind us on that street, across the street, is where the park at. I'm not going to the basketball court right now. But, uh, pretty much gay out of bases, though. But that's where we came from, a boring-ass suburban neighborhood. So, we ain't never really had time to do nothing. But, to uh, road, paper, brown paper bag. We so still do it to this day. And, uh, just have fun. We'll try, you know, make, make up and create fun and shit. Cause these people and shit, they be in their houses. You know, they be in their houses and I would be too. But, you know, pretty decent overall. Giving up on some shit, you ain't gonna never have nothing. Strive hard as you can.
Keep going. Do your talent. Create your talent. Create your way in this world. Don't let shit take it from you. A little secret between me and you. Creativity is in the mind the entire time. It can't take it from you. It can bond you in shackles, but they can't hold it away from you. It can keep you captivated, captured in your mind. But you free. Like, they always talk about the unemployment rate. But don't nobody ever want to talk about the poverty rate. <laughs> Bruh, this shit is ridiculous. You got people that's basically disabling themselves and telling themselves, you can't do this. I can't do that. And all you got to do is just try with all of your might. Nobody's going to give you nothing. I'm 23 years old in society. Oh, Birmingham had never given me a fucking penny to do nothing, to make my dream work, to make this happen for me. I got to do it for myself. I'm doing it for myself. I got a lot of people in my corner. I got a lot of people not in my corner. And I got a lot of people waiting to get in my corner. I can't wait to make this shit happen. I'm in the process of making it happen now. So, I encourage you, whatever your dreams is, whatever your goals is, jump high. Jump high. Slam dunk them motherfuckers. Purchase your tracks today. I can't sugarcoat now. Because I would have had somebody sugarcoated everything to me. I got kids to raise. I got a wife. A future wife. I made some shape. <laughs> do music. I'll do whatever. It's gonna be my talent that paid the way. That about it for right now. Shit. I appreciate it, everybody. Just want y'all to get a little look into Lil J, Lil J B from, you know. And where my brother's from, I mean, where this shit originate from, bro. You know. Maybe you never know what influence your life growing up you never know what you know really help you out to open up your imagination open up your creativeness see a brighter side of shit and it ain't even much a sunny day but to see a brighter side of shit you know is it you never know huge difference if you ask me the, the shit that impress people never impress me like my creativity. Show me what you created. That's that's how you can create. Yeah, awesome, so. yeah, you wanna run a mile or you wanna run a beast? <laughs> you gonna be a worker or you gonna be a boss? I mean, what's your alternative? There's only shit, there's only there's only the two. Me? I'm still having to be a boss. I can get a fuck by what somebody else think. Kill or say. I'm my NW for life. Fuck you really got to say to me.